Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you some of my design projects from mostly when I was in school myself in regards to mood boards and inspiration images that actually help shape the design process. So I'll show you how I use my inspiration images and mood boards to end up creating my final designs. So this is an image out of one of my sketchbooks. This is what a lot of them look like. You can see that I've used mood imagery. So these like images of Audrey Hepburn in the 60s and I've pasted them right into my sketchbook and then I've started drawing um, right around them, just ideas that are coming to me just by looking at my mood imagery. That's the idea of it, is that when you look at it, you should be drawing from it. It should be directly inspiring you. So all these images that you're collecting of um, fashion and clothing and things like that, um, you can also start looking at art, you can look at movies, you can look at architecture, um, you can think even more abstract, anything that's inspiring you, you can start putting that in your sketchbook and just making quick little sketches uh, from it, making little notes, whatever you need to do, coloring on top of it, so that you're getting some ideas out based on what you see. And at first you can kind of copy what you see and then you can start elaborating on it. And so in this case, my mood imagery is inspiring the silhouette, uh, the shape of the garments, and also the details of the garments. So this is an example of a mood board um, from uh, a trip that I took to Morocco. So this is literally just four photos kind of put together in what I thought was a sort of aesthetically pleasing way. They're kind of mashed together in a little collage of my own personal trip. And so it's showing um, in this Islamic architectural shapes, uh, pattern, uh, these bright rainbow colors, obviously it's Africa, it's a hot climate. Um, these are the key elements that I'm getting from this that are important. Um, I'm developing a color palette and I could even start thinking about fabrics that are going to go with this. So from just these four photos, I'm able to look at this, stare at this and design based on this inspiration. So you can see here, I've got a few sketches. I've got some more photos. I'm looking at the shape of these uh, doorways. I'm looking at the architectural shapes and designs. I'm looking at the patterns on the tile. I'm looking at the colors. I'm looking at everything. So I came up with, from those four photos, an architecturally inspired dress in lightweight sheer cottons in Moroccan colors with Islamic tile print details. So again, the mood imagery that I had inspired my silhouette. The whole shape of the dress is inspired by the doorway. Um, the fabrics are inspired by the inspiration, uh, the color, and the details. I've obviously got the print details there, the shears, things like that. So you can see how it came full circle from those four photographs into this one garment. Here's another really simple example. I've just got three photos on this mood board. I do have a couple of fabric swatches. It looks like one of them has fallen off. Sorry, some of these are old because they're out of my old, old sketchbooks. But just three images of 1960s op art furniture. And that's what I'm going to base a whole collection on. So key elements here, these things all kind of go together, right? There's round oval shapes. There's primary solid colors. There's these clean lines. I've got a color palette that's really obviously apparent. Uh, and I could already start thinking about fabrics. I'm not seeing really anything shiny. I'm more thinking of, um, you know, sort of plain fabrics um, that are going to hold up well, maybe that feel like furniture. I don't know. I, I can start looking for color, fabric, silhouette, everything from these three photographs that I just really like of um, furniture and interiors. And so here I've got sketches um, where you can see me working out some details and then a final collection. And this is pretty much what you'll do in this class. You'll do lots and lots and lots of sketches. A lot of that stuff will get scrapped and that'll help you to choose the final pieces that make the collection that come together. And these sort of go together 
um, in that they look like they're inspired by the pieces, um, but they've kind of taken it a step further. Again, their silhouettes, their fabrics, their color, and their details are all inspired by just those few images. Um, this is a Fabergé mood board, so I was inspired by Fabergé eggs. Um, and then once you start thinking about Fabergé eggs, you think, why were they made? And it was for the Russian czars. And then you think about the Russian czars and how um, they were basically all murdered so that <laughs> communism could take over in Russia. And so you have the rise of communism in Russia. Um, I sort of just kind of fell down this rabbit hole when I started looking at Fabergé eggs that I was so influenced by. And it gave me these key ele elements of being uh, really opulent over the top. The Fabergé eggs had this surprise inside. And then there was all this, obviously, uh, political juxtaposition going on. You know, you have these extravagant czars, which are like the royal family of Russia, being overthrown by the working class. Uh, man who's you know tired of having the royalty push him around basically um, I can easily come up with a color palette from this I've got these deep blues and reds and golds really opulent stuff and then fabrics also they should have just like jump out like velvet and brocade and fancy trims these really opulent things and then canvas um, sort of representing that utilitarian working class side so here's the mood board you can see I've got images that I've sort of um, you know printed out or cut out there's postcards on here and found and I've also got chunks of fabric put on here because that was also part of the inspiration a fancy trim um, or a velvet swatch something like that is going to inspire me as well and then here's me kind of doing some sketches and coming up with some final ideas where I ended up designing um, a giant egg-shaped cape in this um, deep blue velvet and this gold brocade pleating and then it opened up and underneath she was wearing a different outfit with this utilitarian communist uh, in dark red canvas and there was a communist uh, sort of print on it so this was like a, um, a very sculptural kind of artistic piece where it had you know moving parts and things like that but again the mood board and the inspiration was inspiring the silhouette the fabric, the color, and the details. All of that really obviously, once I explain the story especially, you can see comes from that Fabergé egg. Um, the Mod Garden Party mood boards. Here I've got two different mood boards. So I'm inspired by two different things and they're coming together. So I've got uh, Victorian garden parties. That's a little collage that I've made up there. And again, I've just found photographs that I like. I put them together in Photoshop in a collage. And then I also was really looking at mod 60s dresses and that kind of fun mini skirts, um, that kind of era, a lot of these nice details. So again, the key elements when I'm mixing both of these together, which is a great way to come up with a mood board and an inspiration is to mix two things together. So it's not um, just so sort of seen before and boring and stagnant. If you take two things and mesh them together, you'll get better results. So I've got feminine and delicate uh, with the garden party and I've got these, all these great panels and seams and this mod styling kind of coming together. So the color palette can be these pastels, pink and yellow and baby blue. The fabrics can be really lightweight and sheer um, and it's just this ultra feminine mix. And so it ends up being this collection of feminine delicate dresses in lightweight sheer cottons with pastel hues and mod 60s details. So it's kind of um, a couple of different ideas coming together. And then again, the, that, those mood boards are inspiring the silhouettes here, the fabrics, the colors, and the details. Um, this is another collection called Richemont, where I was inspired by Victorian dandies and formal 1800s menswear, pretty specific, but I really just liked a lot of the way these guys looked. So I have, this is a mood board here um, on the left with all these um, sort of wood cuts from uh, men of Victorian times and sort of their, again, over the top kind of opulent um, menswear looks. And so key elements is that um, I'm going to have pants and tailored jackets. I'm going to have all these Victorian details and these antique colors and fabrics. And so down on the right side here um, 
is something we haven't seen yet. I've got my sort of color story there and fabric story. So you can see I've got the colors, I've got the fabric swatches, and underneath this is the full collection um, in flat. So you can see it as though you were going to kind of buy it from a catalog, right? Um, you see all the flat drawings line there. So this is how you would sometimes show a whole collection um, with the color and the flat so that you can imagine you can mix and match the colors on any of these garments, for example. And so here are the illustrations um, that so it ended up being menswear inspired uh, women's wear with Victorian details. And so um, something to notice here is that each of these boards has a similar background. I've given it this frame. I'm kind of um, carrying over that mood and inspiration even into my final illustration. And I do that a lot. I try to change it up with every project so that each board, each piece of presentation paper uh, feels like you're getting all of the imagery, all of the inspiration um, all mixed in. So it really sets the mood. You kind of you know, see that these girls are together in this setting and it really sets the mood for you. Uh, this is a 70s autumn mood board. So I was looking at 1970s clothing um, that was really rustic and really autumnal. And then I think I was just obsessed with like 60s, 70s Marianne Faithful at the time, who's kind of shown in the center here, wearing these kind of menswear looking, um, you know, 60s pieces. Uh, so key elements here with this mix of info that I've got is uh, obviously plaids, warm, rusty colors. I've got relaxed fits, heavy fabrics. You know, there's a theme that's kind of coming here. My color palette was really obvious, um, mustard, burnt orange, olive green. I actually ended up putting all my boards um, on a mustard colored background um, just to really sell that home. And then uh, fabrics were corduroy, wool tweed, flannel, cotton canvas, um, all of these fabrics that just go with that style. And so again, a collection of 70s inspired women's wear separates with a focus on these textural details. So the fabrics are really important in this, the colors are really important, um, and keeping a lot of texture um, so also what's interesting is that on all of these boards, you'll notice I have this contextual tobacco plant screen print on every board. Um, so this, again, it just gives that repetition that you've got um, continu continuity uh, throughout the whole project. You can see this um, tobacco plant, you can see these colors, they're gonna appear over and over and over. And it just um, makes sure that you're feeling the inspiration the entire time. You're feeling the mood, you're in the zone the whole time. So here's also sort of the collection where I've got fabric swatches. And again, some of them are starting to come off. And I've got all the flats laid out with no color on them so that you can, again, imagine that you could just have any one of these pants or dresses in a certain fabric or a certain color. Um, another mood board, uh, another project is uh, called Ghost. So here I was inspired by, again, a couple of different things. So I've got two different sets of mood boards again. I've got one that has Heidi Trepanier uh, drip splatter paintings. It was an artist that I was really inspired by, and I've also got some fabrics on there. The fabrics were a really key part of the inspiration. And then also these ethereal, ghostly, sienna-type photographs. And so these are actually photographs that I took. Uh, we staged photo shoots um, and developed these, and it was just a fun process. But the key elements of the whole um, concept were uh, flowy, sheer fabrics, um, really feminine, really soft, and dreamy layers. So again, the color palette started presenting itself really quickly from the paintings and the sienna type with the blues and the grays and the lavenders and fabrics also, these shears, these cotton batiste, really lightweight gauze and silk. And then for some structure for these layers, um, a little uh, brushed suede and laser cut leather. And so the illustrations end up looking um, really different and kind of go again with that theme and with that story. It's a collection of flowy, delicate separates. We've got cool washed out colors and some structural layers built in there. But again, the mood imagery is inspiring the silhouette, the fabric, 
um, all the details. Um, there's this heavy torn paper on all the boards. It really gives you this uh, sense of the ghost concept. 